we do about one minute each side. Okay. Yeah. Which one do you prefer, the bread or the tortilla? I like the tortillas. Okay. I like the tortillas. Okay. Um, I don't know, it's just different. I like the tortillas though. Um, or sometimes I, what I'll do is I, I, if I have the tortilla, you can kind of wrap, you can kind of break a piece of the omelet off, throw it in a wrap, and kind of eat it like that if, if you want to. Um, mm -hmm. For those that might want meat with this meal, you can do turkey. I usually do turkey bacon, turkey sausage, something, or um, or chicken. I um saute some chicken, kind of cut it up, and put place it in there. Okay. Lunch meat, turkey, turkey lunch meat. If you want some of that, that's fine too. If I just flip this over, flip the toast over. We'll let that go for, uh, we'll let that go for about 30 seconds. Yeah, this is real avocado on the side. <laughs> I'll see the uh, avocado. Yeah. You're not an avocado guy, are you? you no. Yeah, I know me. I'm not the avocado. It's a day for you to come on over, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, it might be different with the, you know, with the with the omelet because it may give it a different flavor or different taste. So, yeah. gotcha. So I definitely, okay, so I think kind of definitely may have to have to try, you know, try an avocado with the with the omelet if I have it with any anything. Yeah. Someone else asked the question. They said, uh, "Can I substitute the egg white for regular eggs if I don't have a carton of egg whites?" Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what you can do too, if you um, if you want egg white and don't have the carton of egg white, crack the egg, kind of let the, um, the the yolk, not the yolk, kind of get rid of the yolk, let the egg white kind of fall in the um, in the bowl. Just kind of maybe crack about three of those, um, and it should get you the um, the amount. Okay. But yeah, that's that's no problem. That's no problem. So right now, this this is this is kind of how it looks. I don't know. If you oh, see it. Really, yeah, you gotta take a picture of that, Brandon. That take a picture. Good. up. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, no, that looks really, really good. That like, looks good. Yeah, yeah that looks really amazing. Good. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. This yeah. Was, well, we did this in five, maybe six, seven minutes, maybe. Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. That's a, that's a, I mean. Really, you could do that breakfast in the morning before your children go to school, yep. before you go to work, you know, 10 to 15 Absolutely. minutes and you're done. Wow. You know, yeah. yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. You can eat it in the car. Make yourself, you know, cut the omelet, put it on your sand, on the, on the bread or the tortilla, whatever you have, and Absolutely. put it in a napkin and jump in the car. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and you can do, um, for those that like, you know, uh, seafood, you can sprinkle crab meat in there as well. Crab, mm -hmm. crab meat, shrimp. Yeah, um, it's real good oh. with crab meat though. Now let, let me ask you this, Brandon. I know it's breakfast food, but you can have this for like a nice quick dinner meal too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yep, absolutely. And what I do, um, I love uh, black beans, so I'll sprinkle some black beans inside. Mm -hmm. Really give it that um, fiesta type of taste. Oh um, wow! Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so. This feeling, yeah, it's real feeling. Yeah, I'm oh, telling you, <laughs> healthy meals on a budget, y'all. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ten dollars, maybe ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Brandon, Brandon, uh, before we before we go, I want you to tell tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are, and what you do, so folks can know how to connect with you and how to contact you if they want to utilize, you know, utilize your services and everything. Absolutely. Um, so. Uh, my name is, like they said, my name is Chef Lau. Uh, my uh, my business is Soul Separately, Soul Separately Catering. So you can go on Instagram, soul, soul .separately, Um and we're on Facebook as well, but we post more on, um, on Instagram. We're going to start posting more on Facebook. Um, but I do all types of events, private, private dinners, parties, um, Bar mitzvahs, <laughs> the whole nine. Okay. Uh, 
And really like today I'm doing a, uh, I'm getting ready for a fight party. It's doing, you know, Tank is fighting. So oh, I'm getting okay. ready for a fight party. Um, but um, yeah, you can get in touch with me at uh, Instagram, soul.separately. And I'll email it soul separately 51 at gmail.com. Um, I also sell dinners on, it's either Friday or Saturday. So we kind of post when we do dinners. Um, okay. through Instagram or through Facebook. Um, mm-hmm. We let you know, kind of let you know the day before, two days before what we're cooking, what we're having, and the times. Um, and, um, you know, our phone number as well, if you want to get in touch with us, or text us, 410-921-8899. Um, if you have any questions or um, you want to ask any questions about the uh, event. All right, Brandon, tilt the screen up a little bit because we go oh, only see sorry. half of your I face. Well, I don't want to interrupt you while you were talking about that. Yeah, that yeah. people okay. can see what you look like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. So give us your information one more time. Um, no problem. So know. Yeah, definitely. Gotcha. Um, so you can uh, find us on Facebook at uh, Soul Separately Catering, S O U L Separately. Um, and then on Instagram, soul dot separately. Um, and on there, like I say, we post uh, what events we're having. If I'm doing, if I'm selling dinners either Friday or Saturday, um, one of the two. But we'll we'll let them know um, a day before, two days before. Um, what else? And then my Gmail. If you want to get in touch with us, soul separately fifty one at gmail dot com. And also our phone number is uh, 410-921-8899. And uh, you can text or call if you have any questions about the event or uh, or just about this. Um, that this meal, wonderful, huh? Wonderful <laughs> meal. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I appreciate y'all having me today. Oh, yeah. We, we just want to say thank you. Um, for joining us today. Um, we have had some awesome chefs on and we just, we are so humble and grateful for y'all to just come in with us, share a little bit of time because you could do, you could be doing anything else, um, but y'all decide to come here and, you know, help promote our foundation, you know, also try to help promote your own business that you have going on. So we really appreciate it. Um, y'all coming on for this time that you you know y'all come to share with us and share with the people um like we said before we're just trying to promote healthy eating healthy living you know so that we can live longer lives so that we can you know be able to see our grandchildren grow up you know and you know just be around for family time help families to come together a little bit and prepare a meal um instead of us being you know we we work most of us work every day, all day. And, you know, we just trying to um, promote time spent with your family. So that's one of the things we're trying to, um, you know, get people to spend more time. I know through the pandemic, I mean, we a lot of time with our families <laughs> through this pandemic when everything was shut down. So um, it's been good. So, you know, I just want everybody one time with their families and have a good time cooking enjoy it you know uh, but i do have a question for you brandon how did you get into um becoming a chef like what made you start cooking um well i first started off uh i worked in a couple restaurants back in 2011 13 14 uh kind of worked in the kitchens different chefs picked um and then uh, I was out of work for maybe about a year and a half. So, you know, I have kids and every breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'm preparing meals. I need eat better, get more confident. I'm researching um, different um, and just practice. But basically, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing. I'm getting a lot of meals for my, my family. And... Uh, I've always gravitated towards food, people, um, and I know how I like my food and customer service as well. 
So uh, I just took it upon myself, kind of started my own business. And, um, you know, it's the future. Definitely. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, y'all, we are about to, um, we just thank y'all so much for tuning us on Facebook Live, the McKenzie, McKenzie Pantry Foundation. Um, we provide meals for students at the school in our community. Um, we want to keep on, keep on promoting healthy eating, healthy living. Um, and what we do at the foundation is we, we, uh, we give food, uh, for the weekend. Um, and it's just, we deliver a bag of groceries to them, um, either Friday or Saturday every week. So all year round. So prayerfully, we will continue to do this um, endeavor, we just trying to fill the gap in between where um, families who need a little bit of help, that we can help them out a little bit with this. So uh, be prepared to look out for our cookbook that's coming out real soon. So we're excited about that. We have some good recipes, some of the recipes y'all have seen with, the, uh, with our cooking sessions. So be prepared for those and a little extra. Um, you can reach us at 443-990-0946. You can email us at mkpfoundation2018 at gmail.com. We do take monetary donations. We have um, Cash App and a PayPal account. The PayPal account is linked to our email, which is mkpfoundation2018 at gmail.com. Our Cash App is dollar sign mkpfoundation. Um, so please do, if you want to donate some non-perishable items, just contact us, DM us on Facebook, Instagram, um, send us the email and we will gladly pick up the donations or set up a drop off for you to drop them off. As you know, right now, our food pantry is in um, Yorkwood Elementary School. School has closed for the summer, um, but even though it's people in there throughout the summer, uh, you're not allowed to come in because of the COVID restrictions um, in the school system. So, but get in contact with us and we will definitely meet you somewhere and get the donations. We really appreciate y'all tuning in with us on Saturday. We, on Saturdays for our cooking sessions, we want to thank, thank, thank you, um, Chef Brandon Lau for joining us today. Please, y'all check him out. Yes, yes, yes. So separately catering. Yes, yeah. that's a night. Yes. Yeah, nice. So if y'all need anything, please let him know. Look him up on Facebook and Instagram. So we appreciate y'all joining in with us today. Leroy, thank you again. Thank y'all for having me. And I don't want to be a stranger neither. Um, I know we can lunch and dinner. I would love to do lunch, prepare lunch or dinner for you guys in the day future so just let me know definitely oh. thank you we hey we're gonna hold you to that we're gonna hold you to that yes we like to eat we like to eat now so right. my house is open to y'all as well yeah. and, and, hey and that thank meal you. might not be healthy either but i'm just saying <laughs> We like to see the we like to see uh Chef Chef Brandon on one of our cheat days. You I know, know right? So we can get something good. <laughs> yeah, something Friday and Saturday. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> but the McKinney, oh, thank you. The Pantry Foundation, y'all. Y'all know what it is. We we are here. Our mission is is and our goal is to is to feed souls. Uh, that's to feed the soul uh, mentally, physically, and spiritually. So we want to thank y'all for tuning in to another great session. Y'all go fix that omelet. Y'all go fix that omelet. Have a good breakfast. Have a nice, good breakfast. And we'll see y'all next time. Now, uh, are we going to have another one coming up uh, coming up soon, too? In a couple weeks, yes. Couple weeks. Okay, yeah. So y'all look out for that. We're going to have another cooking session for you all. And, hey, we can't wait. Cook, <laughs> Absolutely. I'll be here. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right.